So a little change of plan. Uh, it was supposed to be in the Boogaboos, but instead we're going to go to Mole, uh, Cinnaboyne Provincial Park. Um, as you can see, I am Doug sitting today and um, uh, the dog couldn't do go where he was because there was a lot of uh, climbs and stuff like that. So, uh, so basically that's what we're going to do here. Uh, I followed the Simpson River Trail and uh, somewhere around there, because uh, there are like uh, one, uh, so there's one here, one there. Uh, oops, sorry. So, uh, one here, one there, as well as one here. Uh, the one uh, first, current, uh, first come, first serve. Uh, but so far there's nobody in the parking lot, so hopefully uh, there won't be too many people uh, camping. Uh, I think um, I think there's like f four or five sites about each. Some I have like seven. Um, but the re the cool thing is uh, there's uh, there's a fire pit, uh, so uh, so I'll be able to uh, practice fire making. Uh, Again, so that's gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, so I'm gonna walk to whatever ones I uh, I can go, and uh, pretty much that's gonna be today. And then uh, <laughs> I'm bringing my friend Sortilege, <laughs> which is a little uh, maple whiskey, uh, very excellent uh, stuff. And so. Uh, I got uh, a little bit, <laughs> so I can last for about two days. <laughs> Last time I was hiking, I thought there was missing a little bit something. So, <laughs> so this is a little bit what it looks like. Never been in the Asinipoi Park, so because uh, again, when you live close to some so many parks, you usually go to all the same ones. This time, I thought I would try something a little bit different. So, uh, yeah. Get going. Nice little place. Uh, has a cabin as well. A cabin. I won't be uh, sleeping in there. Of my own tent. Uh, for those who don't know what those are, they're bear-proof containers. Uh, so they're like big lockers, but. Uh, Big paw, big bear paw, can I get in under the so, Just open it up, put your food in there. There's some place they have this, and as well as there's a gray water, so the dirty water when you wash your dishes and stuff. But that's why I don't wash dishes, I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> I, just, I just drink the whole stuff. And this is the fire pit. So, it's a pretty nice place actually. Uh, so I got water right over there, fire pit there. I'll be uh, camping a little bit more down that way. And, uh, my dog got into, the dog got into something there. Hey! As you can see, the, uh, the horse can uh, get to their stuff there. So I'm relaxing, my nice little chair, getting my food ready. Uh, right now we're gonna get tuna macaroni with beef and trying those new shoes. I don't know if you saw those. Um, they're, they're like a shoes, but actually they're almost like a foot, right? Because the uh, foot is a little bit better. Apparently, it's better for your back and stuff. And the reason I'm trying those is that uh, in the um, watching a video, I forgot what. I'll put it down. The name of uh, what it's called, and uh, they said to, do, to be um, barefoot, but not used to be barefoot so 
Uh, but I thought that maybe I could try this uh, and see because I mean it does give you a little bit of protection but still it's closer to uh, the sensation of what a real foot is than, than shoes. So yeah, I'm trying those. They're pretty comfy actually and they don't take a lot of space. Um, so they were great for uh, carrying uh, in the backpack. So when I was in Europe, I uh, visited a few uh, outdoor stores because I wanted to see what's different over there and stuff. And so I picked up this thing, um, it's a little bit like an MRE, and it's from uh, uh, let's see. so eatermeals.co.uk. Uh, not that I got anything, but, but I bought two of them, so we'll see if. If they work, and I'll put the link down so if, if they're any good. Uh, basically, uh, it's a little bit like an MRE. And here's the components. Uh, you got even a spoon. Uh, and interesting is that they come with their own water. And so, it makes the bag a little bit heavier. I find. Uh, not that, that much water, but yeah, so it's pretty heavy. And then that's the, the heater. Obviously, this is the lamb and you add the water and so basically you mix all this and heat it up and we'll see how it works and if it's not any good well she will like it because every time I touch the bag she, <laughs> she pretty lick her lips so uh, I, I found out that here it's, uh, it's harder to uh, protect it's easier to protect my food against the bear than against her <laughs> so. So let's try that and I'll show you what it looks like after I it cooks. So um, this is the lamb curry. And um, on the back edge, <laughs> let me show some rice. So obviously this is no rice in there. That's kind of funny because they say a serving suggestion. So <laughs> in the wood you're supposed to prepare it that way. <laughs> but anyway, um, tastes pretty good. Smells very good as you can see by the by Tessa's uh, approval. So. Um, I declare the uh, eater meals uh, Tessa approved and uh, um, I was reading the package so on the main package obviously because like I said I bought it in the UK um, they did uh, it's a UK address but uh, looks like it's made in the States because uh, it's uh, eatermeals.com so um, so little friends from the States uh, and actually myself as well be able to uh, seems like to buy it and um, they they say that you can use the package after that as a as you see let's see yeah, I can use it directly on the skin but um, in a <clears throat> survival situation so you see like there's not much water well, there's a little bit of water left but not much um, now you can use this package as a heater so um, so let's say I would be stuck outside um, cook a meal and now I can wear this over my uh, over uh, a layer at least, because uh, uh, if I try it on the skin, it's uh, <laughs> anyway you'll notice pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, now I could put that in my jacket and um, heat myself. Uh, so um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll uh, I'll calculate uh, how fast uh, how long does it last uh, the heat there, and we'll see. So. So pretty cool. Um, I've been I've been practicing a few things again. Like I said, I'm doing some dirt time. So uh, since the sun is out, I've been practicing my uh, fire starting by uh, fi by uh, the sun, and I'm carrying now a, a little. Uh, it's not a Fresnel's lamp, but a little um, little lantern to see if it works, and it works. So I was able to start two fire, but I still have a hard time with um, um, two twine. So I'm trying to again and I don't know what I'm doing wrong but uh, yeah so I, I still cannot uh, start a fire with two twin but uh, I was walking around the camp and found this rock and I'm like hey I'm wondering if uh, it sparks and uh, unfortunately I forgot my tripod so I'm gonna try to do a little something here see if it can works And uh, yeah, so I found some rock to uh, to sparks. So pretty cool. I didn't know if we had those in uh, in the Rockies, like what they look like. And just by like my literally my first rock that I look, I rock it and look like it it would be uh, able to do it. And yeah, so as you can see, 
it works. So awesome. And now, because uh, the sun is out, I'm gonna do a little sundial and uh, see if it works. And I uh, never practiced that before, so and maybe even a uh, uh, maybe a, uh, a compass there. So I'm gonna try that uh, now. I mean, quite quite fun actually. So doing a little bit more than I expected, then uh, it's pretty cool. So. so I have a few projects on the go now. Uh, this is my uh, sun compass. So uh, I know you're supposed to have a very straight stick, but uh, there you go. Fall down a little bit, and uh, yeah. So put my first rock over there at the end of the line and then we'll wait a little bit and stuff and um, I've, I tried it a little bit and I put a too big one what happened is that you have to wait longer because uh, by the time it moves so, uh, so yeah and uh, like I was saying we're like in place where there's a lot of horse and so <laughs> I was wearing gloves don't worry but uh, I took some uh, some dry um, horse so basically what it is it's basically just like hay and stuff um if anybody knows because uh, i obviously i don't work with a lot of horse around and stuff i tried it like hey maybe it could be a good uh, fire starter uh i'm able to get sparks but it, it doesn't it doesn't get the horse and then i try with uh i try with the uh, uh stuff and let's see maybe we could it. I tried to refine it. And you get smoke, but there's nothing much. And when you sparks, it's the same thing. It kind of burns, but uh, stuff. So I tried to crush it and everything. And. Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't work, so if anybody has tricks and stuff, uh, let me know.